I just got a long Christmas letter from an old friend, and I thought that I had a horrible year until I read about his. Company crashed, lost his job, didn't get paid. Oh, but then new investors came in, and soon after, no job again, no customers, then maybe a little bit. You see, all that uncertainty. Yet at the end, he insisted on embracing the joy and happiness of Christmas, and he invited me to do the same. And I think that's very, very good advice. No matter how hard any of us are hit by COVID-19 individually, I think we all hate it and we just can't wait for it to end. And in the meantime, what do we do? I think there's no better choice than to focus on the good that always comes with something bad. So practically, I have really enjoyed using online meetings so much this year. I mean, in this way, I can more easily avoid people, right? <laughs> Really, it does increase my productivity and the focus. And for my company, it's also in a much more agile state now. I really hate that trade shows got canceled. On the other uh, side, I got more time now to do awesome technology design for Skyway. Um, you and me, we are in media production, right? And haven't COVID-19 just proved how vital technology is, the technology that we create and implement for people in social distancing situations. I mean, we create and implement the technology that let kids and young adults continue education. We helped um, uh, to focus people on the bright sides of life when we enabled the transmission of entertainment. And we also uh, enabled the distribution of important news. And on Christmas Day, we deliver the experience of church to millions of people who are asked by governments to stay isolated and that's totally against the concept of church, which is to, to bring people together into fellowship. Talking about Christmas, honestly, personally, I'm not super excited about baby Jesus in the manger and all that. For, for me, the Christmas story is kind of too cute. It has no edges to wrestle with. It doesn't challenge me personally. I do love the lights. I like the time with family. And Jesus really does mean a lot to me as a person, but I'm more into the rock star kind of Jesus, the, the grown-up who is uh, a perfect but also extremely challenging role model. For me, that's where it's really at, and it's an everyday thing. So personally, this is the background that provides me the sense of purpose I need to run this company as authentically as I can with a mission to ease the control of technology for people in media production. Enabling teachers to stream live, enabling small crews to manage remote production, and enabling churches to celebrate Christmas during lockdowns. You and me, being in this line of business, we enable that. So let's be proud about it. Let's choose our attitude more than ever. I think that's important. And in the words of my friend, it sounds like this. Believe that Christmas still is light and wonder, intimacy and goodness, and full of intense meaning. Believe that it gets lighter day by day, that the sun from its hiding, despite all the obstacles of the past year, wishes us a Merry Christmas.